Blessed love, pleasant, good evening, good afternoon. Warm welcome mindset program. I just start your host and I want to greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor E. Selassie I the first, Empress Men in the first. Warm welcome beautiful viewers and subscribers one more day above ground and we're giving thanks and praise for life because that is the ultimate position. Not no greater than that. And today... We're live and direct from Kingston, Jamaica, with a rising star, a um, uh, young lady who I, con I consider to be a very conscious artist that is rising up within reggae music. Without no further delay, I want to introduce Yaza to the Mindset Program. Blessed love. Blessings, blessings, greetings. Yes, greetings, everyone. Yes, I give I'm thanks. happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. I hope I'm pronouncing um the I name correctly. <laughs> first and foremost. So it's it's Yeza. Yes. You almost get it. I think you're more of say yeah, Yaza, but it's it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Give thanks. Give thanks for the clarification. Yeah, man. Blessing, blessing. Yes, I. Rastafari. So um I know the is promoting um your your brand new single um that is out now which is titled Glory. Yes. Talk to me about that before we you know we, we, we progress. All right. So Glory is that track that kind of came to me naturally and I feel like Glory is really reflecting the times right now. Um it's a pandemic, it's a global crisis. Um but I just decided not to look at it from a negative perspective. I kind of pull strength from it because, I mean, he's what I would have considered to be, you know, a fire daughter, you see me, or a rude girl who's a righteous bad guy because I have that inner core, that nanny energy, mm. or even that Marcus energy where, in these times, we we'll have to kind of understand and remember that. So, True. Glory is a song where I try to remind myself and that people as well say, so, it's a pandemic, but we're not come from we not come from a, a, a lineage of people where cry every time when milk spill or cry every time when they get an unspite. We don't come from that. We come from strength and we come from people where hold up touch at the middle of the night and teeth out of the um plantation. So glory is really just to kind of remind people of their inner light and the strength we're always there, irrespective of a pandemic or not. True, yeah, man. Give thanks, give thanks. Um, how long since the song's been released? It's just been released Friday gone, so, so it's not it's not even a week yet. Okay, it's about six days. Yeah, that's the far right. And 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 what are the reactions so far? You know, how 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 the i fans are you know reacting to it. The fans, um, I don't even like the word fans, but I call them the rebels, the rebel them, you see me? And <laughs> so far they've, they've been, they have been um, raving about it. I can say some people have messaged me personally and saying that, boy, when they listen to it, they feel some sort of way, they feel moved and those things. So, you know, I think it's doing what it's supposed to. It's been getting plays in the UK. Shawnee B just added it to his wow. playlist on Powerful. BBC One Extra. Um, it's been getting local play on Bridge FM, Zip 103 FM. So, I mean, I, I give thanks, you know? I give thanks, I give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks. And, and what, 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 what you expect from the song? Or, or, or you expect it to um, you know, impact on and, and, and other people's life? 
I really hope that it gives people some kind of strength. When we say we're going in, we're going in, it's like, yeah, you're continuing with what you did that do before, global pandemic and lockdown and all these things. Mommy said, for going then, darling. That's what my mother told me. She said, listen, still the way I do. You understand where I stop from? And that's what my father tell me, where you're stopping for. I hope to be that kind of voice. Don't stop, continue, where I stop for, where I wait for. Is it me going? Is it me going then, na, darling? This, the lyrics of the song say it, you know? From Mr. Fegwan then, na, darling, get the bag then, up, stop the drawstring. So I just hope the same message permeates and reaches the ears that need it. Yes, I give thanks. Give thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, I, I, I hope that um, it, it doesn't fall and, and their fears and it, it um, really impacts um you know the wider wider space and not just you know what i mean this the, the the typical um jamaican space of of music but you know break that barriers and and um you know create waves i hope so i hope so yes i all right mm -hmm. um talk to me about the i community you know what i mean we're you know i know you grew up in 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 bull Bay, which is east kingston um yeah talk talk to me about growing up in your community okay so bull Bay, um growing up in bull Bay, i feel like say uh, growing up in bull Bay was fun i had a lot of fun as a child because we never really have much cell phones and all these things um, at the time, we would have just run around, play dandy shandy, go to the beach where I live close. I live close to the beach as well. Um, eat a lot of fruits and climb a lot of trees. And yeah, I think that was very, very interesting for me. That was like very wholesome. Now, that, now when I look back on those years, it's probably some of the happiest years that I've had. So I think growing up in Bull Bay was definitely like a colorful experience. Rastafari, yeah, man, and mm -hmm. I, 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 I get a vibe from um, the the I music, you know, where it's 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 very cultural, and I know that there's a lot of Rasta, um, and 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 that side of the of the island. Does that mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. any influence on 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 the I music at all? All right, so I think. Definitely the culture of Rastafari has influenced um, my music because reggae music is to me interwoven. Reggae music and Rastafari culture is interwoven. Right. I believe that. You see me? So automatically, just by me listening to reggae music on a sound system and listening to Dennis Brown and Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and the Whalers and many people there, um, which used to play heavily on sound systems in my community. I definitely have to have been influenced by reggae music and Rastafarian culture simultaneously. See. So I would say yes to that. Um, but did it have to do with physical contact with Rastafarians in this side? Not really. I never really come face to face with much of the man when we when I listen to from the sound system. It's really the sound system kind of bring these cultural um, icons in my home and in my space and in my ears. Because I, I think, um, for example, Bobo Hill, mm. they kind of just live in a community that is kind of isolated from the rest of the community. Right, true. You know? So there wasn't much interaction, I have to be, I have to be honest. It's not like they would have come down and try to interact. I never get that any at all. So it's really through the sound system and... Maybe I one or two time out as Sarah Saman, but never really had much conversation or anything like that. It's just sound system where I kind of let me listen to Dennis Brown and Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and learn about culture and reggae and something. And 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 um, what some of the sound system you are talking about? So the sound system um, that I grew up hearing um, is Fire Fire Sparks. He's a man who live on the, on my road named Clivey. See. It. Um, so from my idea and me, Clive is song. Me always say Clive is song, but then I, I, um, over time, the song figures the same song actually mean fire <laughs> You know, 
But me always just a Clive sound I play, you know, because yeah. I Clive in name and I'm in song. And yeah, Clive sound was the and and then you have Black Power when the, the big part of them keep now. You have a song named Black Power. Mm. You understand? Even the name alone can show you say that's a yeah, powerful man. song. Yeah, man. You yeah, understand? Man. True. Um, also, you had a lot of others, but I remember them two days specifically growing up. The Fire Sparks and the Black Power song. Always I played a big, big, big reggae song them. I'm always a listen and love them and the dance all them as well, but in terms of the cultural influence, them never leave me. Rastafari, give thanks. Give mm -hmm. thanks. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you're 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 in your early twenties. You know, what 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 has kept the eye grounded as you know a young woman? You know, from you know the stereotypical type of like you know getting pregnant from 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 early. You know, what has kept the eye grounded as you know? Oh, you mean when I was in my early twenties? Because I'm not in my early twenties. Okay, I beg your, I beg your pardon, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay <laughs> yeah but um let me see do you still want to ask the same question seeing as though i'm a little bit older than early 20s now yeah man or yeah man okay 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 i feel like say um for me personally whatever you're doing you just have to be focused i mean i don't think anything is wrong if you if you really want to have that family mm. and start it early just understand what you're getting yourself into for me just have an understanding of what you're getting yourself into and what you want if it's something that you want preparation is key right. are you prepared for it you understand that's the question I feel is most important and not, oh, you should never do this. Because mm -hmm. if a one want to do it and them construct themselves in a way where them can afford that or them have systems in place where support that, then I think who is to argue with them? You understand what I mean? Who is to argue? For example, you are maybe 22 and maybe you said to yourself, listen, I'm finishing school at XYZ time and you accomplished that. And you also accomplish your degree and you also probably say, you know, you want to get married and you accomplish that. And you actually accomplish a house. You have some, some, some American and some other people who are like this, you know, they're kind of forward thinking. True. Um, so I feel like, yeah, if, if you're in a place where you can do that, I don't think the judgment should be, oh, because you get pregnant at an early age. No, it's really, are you prepared? What are the systems that you have in place? How forward thinking are you? How responsible are you at this stage? Yeah, so I think just as long as you have that, whatever time and whenever time, is up to you. Rastafari. Yeah, man, give thanks. Um, yeah. The eye is very fresh in, in, in the music industry. You know, only like, you know, three years since the eye been here. Um, I think well, 2022 is going to make it, is, is just make it four. Four years. I think so. All right. Yeah, I think All right. Yeah. Correction. Um, what as oh, a probably not reach four years yet. You're right. Probably not reach four years. Maybe <laughs> it's soon reach four years. It's soon maybe. Reach. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I really attract the eye to you know. I know the eye speak about the sound system, but what what really um, attracted the eye to the music that you gonna say? You know what? I'm 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 gonna take this up as 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 a as a career. Okay. All right. So. I've just always, from I was young, I was always singing. I write songs about the moon. And I had an elephant toy at one point that my mother did bring. <laughs> and I write a song about the elephant. So these are things that I kind of just noticed about myself over time. I was always singing. I was always writing, singing some, some things. At, at the time, my mother would have said foolishness or should I laugh or, you know. Um, but it's just self-observation. Through observing myself, I realized that I was always liking these kind of melodies and always writing these kind of things. And so I started to just discover myself and to discover that I really like music. Um, so <laughs> I decided at the point when we leave university you know that um, I wanted to take the chance. I didn't want to go the route of just being in a job for a whole long, I don't know, the rest of my life, mm. and not really trying to see what it would have been if I actually discovered 
how far my talent could take me. So I decided to take the chance and here I am now, really. And what 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 are some of the what what are some of the, the 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 struggles like are challenges then that I you know face within within the music coming up you know being so young I, what what are some of the challenges that I face trying to get the music out there? Holy for challenges, but holy for support as well, you know. But holy for challenges. Let me see. Yeah, man, we give tons. Um, let me see. So, for example, when we just start. When we just start, um, I never know what to do because I don't have any musical legacy like that in my family. Right. So at the time, there were people who convinced me, say, me needed them for them link. You understand? <laughs> so I needed for them link in order to make this happen, man, that happen, man, whatever the case is. Yeah. But I, I soon learned that I just needed to put myself out there. And it was challenging to put myself out there because as a female, sometimes when you try to go to event them and you don't have nobody beside you, you know, on a later night and you mm. try to travel, you know, really have much funds, etc. is a struggle. So luckily I had um, my manager, he's still on the team now, Travis, at the time to kind of rally around and, you know, support me with going to these events and... By going to these events, I would have met my name and more and more people would start to invite me to other events. Right. And so, because the challenge was getting some, you know, attention so people can start to notice you. So them, get, them can start book you. So they mm. can start, you know, giving you all of these shows or platforms. And yeah, so that was a challenge of getting, getting the voice out there and getting the message out there. Um, other challenges I would say is people tend to scrutinize female artists or singers um, more so based on their physical appearance. Same. And I, I get that a lot. So people want to tell you what you can or can, cannot wear based on what they perceive. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's, I think it's um, everybody to their own opinion, but at the end of the day, the problem comes when you try to shove your view down somebody's throat. I don't think we're all the same and we, we come as different pieces of the puzzle. Um, so that's been a challenge as well to kind of get people to understand that I am kind of different in, in just how I am constructed, you know, and I am different in my expression as well. So that's those are the things. Right. I, I'm sure there's more, but I can't think of those right now. But Give thanks. Give yeah, thanks, man. my sister. R right, mm -hmm. right now, um, there's, there's, there's a lot of female that is, you know, is, is on the rise, you know, within, within the music, and um, you know, they, 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 they're making quite, quite a, a, a name for themselves, and you know, I can, I can see the eye as, um, one of these. Um, female that is rising up in 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 the music. Why 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 you think now um, this is happening when you know reggae music is is more a male dominated um, arena? I am not sure why this is happening now. I cannot say. I'm not in the lie. I can't say. <laughs> Actually, when I was coming up, um, and I'm still coming up now, but. During the earlier times, mm, I could have seen some of the same females they're talking about. I was around them and probably doing some shows or whatever. And I just saw them. It, it, it's not like me say, boy, them did it because of me. Because no, them are the, them are the, them, some of them are the them thing way before me even touch a mic. See, <laughs> true. And... And so me just come and miss them and they might do them thing too and just say, yeah, yeah, yell up yourself, you know, sister, and just say, yell up yourself and whatever the case is. And you just know, say, I just saw it go, but I don't know if I, divine time, I don't know, but it is what it is. I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> I but can't it, explain. It's good, it's good, it's good to see though, because as I said, you, you, you know, you, you, you hear certain talk more while that you know reggae music is is dominated by 
you know, females and you mm-hmm. know, you, you 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 hardly have females um reaching to like, you know, a, a great heights within the music. True, true, and true. We see, you know, another young female like um Coffee of recent um receive a, 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 a Grammy Award. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that 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 show that um there have been some shift, you know, in 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 the balance that it's not just a male dominated thing anymore. But um the females them also have a voice. Yeah, yeah. The, the female them have a voice, you know, like um I feel like definitely probably women are feeling a little bit more comfortable to take it on. It, it's rough. Um, and I, I kind of feel like may, the male, it being male dominated probably has some, something to do with the fact that males don't necessarily have to be in the house and taking care of children directly all the time, you know? Because females, I feel like, are the primary nurturers. Yes. So I, I think that males can easily just get up one day and say, you know, it's an artist thing, we are free, and, and they are studio all night and every day. It's easier for them to do that rather than a woman, she have to think about other things like her family and things like that. So I think now in this liberal society, um, the mindset is changing, maybe. Mm. That's, that's the most I could say. That's the far right. The mindset is changing. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I would agree with the eye. Seriously. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> woman around the world, you know, face is faced with all sort of um, abuse on a daily basis from from men. But you know, especially in Jamaica, how oh, 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 do the I see um because you, you you have sisters of recent as you know rise up and been speaking out about abuse and I, I i i know that the i do a song as well um um dealing with that topic um how, how do how do you see it being changed what 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 do you think is required um of 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 our brothers you know um not abusing you know our sisters I think everything goes down to self-work and the family structure. Mm. I think anything else what we do, whether it be through the police or the army, is kind of like when a doctor gives prescriptions and the drugs only solve the symptoms but not the cure. It goes right back down to the family structure, the type of men fathers the type of women mothers who are raising children and the, the self-work where we all need for putin to make sure so we don't continue the cycle of raising these kinds of um tram- children in these kinds of traumatic situations because um as adults we reenact some of these things that we learn subconsciously True. unconsciously from that from them time there. so um my answer to that is it, we have to change the upbringing. We have to change that. We have to change how we, we operate in the family and in the households. Um, otherwise, I feel it's not going to solve the problem. It's just going to put a band-aid on it. I hear that. I hear that, my sister. So yeah, um, family structure really need to look at. That, that, that is what me. Yeah, get what's from going there. on in the house? Why, why, what's going on in the house, you know? Um, are men able to express themselves emotionally? Mm. Or they just get too lick and just say if we shut up and stop bar? These kind of emotions that are piled up and, and not dealt with eventually come out on somebody at some point. At some point. Are you you know, um, and that's just one example. Of, yes, I. Of, yeah, so. Yeah, man, give thanks, give thanks. Um, yeah, man. What 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 compelled the I to um write? Is it because I'm black? Um, I've 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 the I had to 
deal with racial discrimination in, in any sort of way? I think that um, in Jamaica, I wouldn't necessarily say it's racism directly, but it is that racism because racism in Jamaica, because we don't have a large white population, sometimes manifests itself as classism, mm. right? And yeah. yeah, when you have a dark complexion and things, people are saying, why um, you, sh- you should have rub on two cream, you know? Rub on two cream for your skin, man. And it will bring you, bring you up, bring you off. <laughs> <or, laughs> and I, somebody has bought me a bleaching cream already. Wow. Um, as a gift to say why we can carry off yourself, you know. Um, instances like that, it's not necessarily direct racism, but it is, a, 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 I would say, a spill off of it because mm. it carries the same principle that the, the closer you are to white, the better it is. And the, the, the further you are from white, the worse it is. Um, so is it because I'm black? It's really like from a global perspective rather than a Jamaican perspective, even yeah. though I have, I have um, experienced the men- that the mentality here is still influenced by colonialism, mm. right? Um, but yeah, it's a global perspective of what I see happening universally are um, across the world where black people are kind of in a position where they might kneel and it's kind of like just saying to these fellow black people and other people that as for me i am kind of different as i tell you yes sir. i am not the one to i am not going to be the one to say um please i beg you to this and that. no i kind of have a little rebel in me who just know say if you don't accept me just know i accept myself you see me and i see what you are doing, Mm. but it doesn't mean that I agree with what your mentality is about me. You feel me? So is it because I'm black is telling you that I see what you're doing and I see that what you're doing is because you're against what I am, but me still, as the song starts and says, Anna make complexion with the batch from my chest because we still know that there's power in being Black. Melanated and yeah. being black. Yeah. yeah. Powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Um Give th- thanks. Talk, talk to me about um working with Bobby Digital, who you know is a legend icon um in, in other business. Uh what what did I learn from that experience and um how how, 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 how you apply that to your craft? So unfortunately I didn't get to work directly with Bobby Digital, even though it's from his production. Mm. Um, Calibod is his son. And okay. I worked with Calibod at the studio, Bobby Digital studio. Um, so all is still, you know, still still big things, still big things. Is a chip no fly and far from the block? No, not at all. And as I said, Bobby Digital's actual production, but, you know, I worked with Calibod in the studio to make the make the track. And that experience was was great. It was great. Um, I do feel like I did learn from the recording sessions. Calibod would have tell me, because he's he's done work as well with the greats and he's been there with his dad. Um, yes. Just seeing all of this greatness. So, you know, um, it, I definitely cherish moments like those. Definitely. Yes, sir. Give thanks, give thanks, and they are, they are also um working with 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 Rory Stone Love also. What what yes. what what is that experience like? Working with Rory, <laughs> Rory is a is a whole is a whole other conversation. <laughs> but working with Rory is, is is good. Um, he's a man of many ideas, and he goes off of his energy and vibes. And I like it. I like it when we come into the studio. It means I mean business. And when it comes to studio, we get along. 
Hmm. We get along well in the studio and we, we work and we come up with ideas. And most of the times we're on the same page as it relates to what we need to change or what we could look better and then look at things. Yeah, so, and Rory is always shooting wisdom. He teach me a lot of new songs and he teach me in terms of just being comfortable in, in, on the mic and expressing certain things. And one time I write a song and my cover studio and I'm singing it and Rory said, but, but no, I said never that you want to say another line there. Eh? You understand? <laughs> so what you really want to say another line, sister. Say what you really want to say. I mean, no, say I threw in my thought. Yeah. That's <laughs> so far, right. <laughs> Powerful. So what I do at the time is I did a filter certain things mm. when you want to say because me I wonder, oh, it has a sound, ray, ray, ray. And the thing is, he, he, he picks up on those things very well. And so he said, go on, go on back with it, man. I'm, and I couldn't argue because I true. I true. <laughs> so we would have go back and, and fix it and come back and he said, yes, man. And then, so, you know, like it's harmony. I can't, I can't, I can't um, complain. Yeah, yeah man. man. Give thanks, give thanks. So, yeah, man. And, 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 and those type of experience is very, very good for the eye. Very good, very good. Very good. Definitely lifetime memories that will always be remembered. Rastafari. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Um, how, how, how would I describe your, your, your musical style, you know, to someone, you know, who is just coming in contact with the eye music? How would you describe what the I do? So my musical style, I call it Rue Girl Roots. Rude girl roots because it's not conventional roots where I am trying to follow a specific script. Mm. I still, I'm still myself first. First and foremost, I am myself. I'm influenced by the street and I'm also influenced by roots. So as you can see, the sound system is very street yeah. and that is what bring roots to me. So I have to pay respect to my blueprint how I was cultivated in terms of my mindset, you know? And so Root Girl Roots is kind of like that merging of roots, but with also the street, because the two of them make Yeza um, who she is as an artist and as a person. So Root Girl Roots is just still keeping it righteous. But at, this, at the end of the day, sometimes the message might sound like it come from the street, but mm. it's still righteous. Yeah, man. You understand? True, true. So that is what I am about. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, we love we love the vibe. You know, we love the vibe. Um, we've been observing. You know, we've been observing behind the scene. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah, man. I appreciate thanks. that. Yeah, we love the vibe. Um, the 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 I also have have a ban. Oh, how important yeah. is 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 that? You know, for the I as you know a young artist coming up. Oh, how important that is for the I journey, having a ban. All right, so the band situation is definitely something that can be tricky because all band members are not always available at the same time, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it is always good to, if you don't even have a band, to try and build um, a group of musicians where you can work with. Um, for the record, they're not necessarily my band. They do have their own brand and they work with me more so yeah. than most yeah, other artists, which I appreciate. Um, but yeah, it, I think it's good because you can have a group of musicians who know your music and whenever you need to, to do a show or to perform in a very serious light, you can call on them and you can try and arrange for it to happen just like that. You know, you're rehearsing, so you're developing your craft on stage mm -hmm. and you're working on your set, um, which is important as well. So all of these things for the, for the music, develop your ears, your listening ability, it develops your singing chords because the more you practice, the better you get at singing. So I think all in all, it's, it's, it's great. It's great to have a man. They, are, they are look like you are prepared for the road. That, that, that is... That is what we get from um, you know having a band, you know. Yeah, the the I prepare for go up on the road. Um, you, you, yeah, man. 
you, you, you been to the, the, the UK, you, 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 you been on the road. Talk to me about that um, experience, you know, for the eye going on the road. Yeah, man. So it was very, very eye opening. It's one of the most memorable experiences so far um, for me personally, because not only did I get to go to the, the UK, I, I got to go because of music, which mm. is amazing, you know, uh, because I just always have to recall and think at one point, I never really sure what, what I wanted to do. And at one point, I was just in my room writing music in my notebook. So for music to take me to the UK now, and then my mother lives there. So I get to see her and yeah, it's great. It's definitely great. It's amazing. So being there, the experience was great. I stayed with mom and my sister. And even though she would only see me at night because all day and wow. night I would be gone different places performing at different places and doing radio interviews all about the place i did um so many um i did what do you call it the the beat the beat london i did that and i ran into kabaka pyramid there as well on that interview um i did uh different radio stations in and around london i did shows i did a show at crystal palace i did um a show alongside Ivor Mar in, in London as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. And the people love the reggae music. The people love the song. Um, is it because I'm Black? I performed that the night before I left at, at the Brothers and Sisters. I don't remember the exact place in London, but mm. that's what the show was called. And the big people in, when I perform, is it because I'm Black? They love it, you know, so like it was amazing it was an amazing trip three weeks of just performing radio and, and just going around and yeah it was great that's the far right and you feel like that that journey has um gained the eyes of more rebels on this side yeah of course because um Antoinette who she was there with me on that leg of the campaign Big up herself, she's a part of the, the management team. Um, she still keeps connections with Mix Master J, who is from the UK. I met him when I went there. Um, well, we went to a Spraga Benz show, and that's where we met Mick, Mick, Mix Master J. And up to now, he's the first one to play my song in the UK. Wow. Um, big up Mix Master so J. <laughs> big up Mix Master J. You see me? So the connections till the day. And we also look at the other day, we, we, we were looking at Up Top UK. We went to a radio station over there as well. The beat, um, whenever I have, have a new song, Rebel Empress, all of those, they were the first to play those songs um, in, the, um, in the UK at that time. So yeah, like a lot of the connections are still there and still here. So Yeah, man, give time. thanks. Yeah, man, for real. For real. Um, what, 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 what has the, the pandemic, um, how, how has that impact um, the IR, impede the eye journey in, in any way? Because probably if, if that um, didn't occur, probably the eye would be, would be on, the, on the road now touring, um, knowing that it's coming up to you know, festival times in, in, in Europe. How, how has that impact the eye? If, if in, in, in any yeah. way, positive or negative? Yeah, man, I think um, most people will fall on the negative impacts. I see the negative impacts as well because it created a struggle, but I feel from the negative comes positive. Mm. The struggle is how we grow, and the struggle is how... If you, if you see it like that, you can transform. So... Um, it put a lot of people under fire and under pressure. Fire, pressure, I, I really see the two of them as very similar. And fire is a transformation energy, right? Yes, sir. When you think about fire, things get burned and then reshape and then remold and, you know, then come again in a different light, like in the forest and, and things like that. So um, 
I feel like, yes, we can see the negative impact per se, but it doesn't stop there if you're willing to be transformed by it. And that's how I see it. So for example, staying inside, I write more music. Mm. Um, social distance, I spend a lot more time within myself, thinking about and perceiving different ideas that I probably wouldn't have had chance, a chance to do. See. So all of those kind of different negative things, I kind of just use them to the advantage and bring, bring, bring forth more positivity, more positivity, really and truly. So, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, man. Positive and, and negative. They're, they're both. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Exactly. If thanks. <laughs> if thanks. Yeah, man. Um, your, 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 your music is to educate, elevate, and inspire others. What word of encouragement um, do I have for you know, young ladies like yourself you know, pursuing a similar dream? Okay, so for young women like me pursuing the dream, I feel like know, know who you are to some extent. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to know everything. But to some extent, you have to kind of have a grip on what you want to be, what you want to sound like. Because what I realized as a woman is it's easier for people to tell you what you have to do, what you're not to do, what you're for wear, what you're not for wear, what you have to look like, what you have to sound like, where you should name yourself, all of these other things. So I had a lot of men telling me these things and not just telling me, forcing me, um, forcing certain perspectives onto me when I just started. So... I would say to the young, the young sister and to be firm in your perspective of yourself, as long as it's positive. Obviously, we don't support the negativity. So as long as it's a positive perspective that you have of yourself, you kind of need to have some amount of firmness in that because otherwise people and situations can pull you in all type of different direction if you're not strong. True. You know? So that's what I would say. That's the most important thing that I think I have learned throughout my journey. I've kind of developed a core that um, doesn't allow me to be manipulated easily. But I have been in situations where people tried that many, many, many times. Isn't it? So that's what I would say. Yes, I give thanks. And 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 all people can um find the eye, you know, if they wanna, you know, for bookings and and, and social media and or oh, oh, they can get in touch. So the new music glory is out now. You can stream it all over. Just look for Yeza, Y E Z A music, Yeza music on Spotify, on Apple, um, all of these streaming platforms, and on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's Y E Z A music as well. Yeza music, Y E Z A music. And that's everything for everything. Rastafari. Yes, Yaza, Yaza. Yeah, man. Give thanks, um, yes, my sister, for for taking the time. Um, it's been a great honor reasoning, reasoning with the eye. You know what I mean? Great honor to have the mm-hmm. eye here on the platform. And you know, we, we pray that you know the eye um excel in, in all your endeavors, my sister. You know what I mean? And Give thanks. Appreciate it. Yes, I and you know, continue making the, the type of music that, that you make. You know, we, we 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 love that type of energy. You know what I mean? We love that type Give of energy. Give thanks. Give thanks. I will, I will. Yes, I so manners and respect, peace and love, and all the best with glory. And you know, all the, the rebel fans, you know, go out, support the music. It's out there on all digital download platform. Yes, my sister. Yes, man. Give thanks for having me. I just, I just started big up itself. All right. Manners and respect. Manners. Peace and love. Yes, family, dear, you have it. Yaza. Yeah. Up and coming um, reggae artist who is, you know, doing very well. You know, we, we love the energy and we love the vibe. And yeah, all the best, my sister. And thank you all for taking the time out today to tune in right here on the Mindset Program. 
See it? Man is on respect, peace and love. See the eye them pan the rebound. All right? that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess I oh, guess the, mind, the mindset. Smash that, Smash subscribe, that subscribe button. button. See you on, See the, you next on the next video. I guess I oh, guess the, the mindset. mindset.